All over the world this Easter weekend, people are going to be talking about one thing, a man being raised from the dead. Virtually all notable historians and scholars agree that he was dead and that many people, many people saw him alive again after the event, or at least claimed to. The question is, how do you explain that? I mean, once you're dead, you're dead. When a man is clinically dead, his heart stops beating. It takes about 11 seconds before he's brain dead. Flatline, nothing, dead. Once dead, a man cannot raise himself up again from the grave. So an outside force must be involved, but not just any outside force. This force had to raise a particular man from a particular tomb on a particular day to back up his particular words. Funny thing is, our God is just like that. He's all powerful, he's all knowing, he's all loving, and he backs up his word. You see, many people can say they're gonna rise again from the grave. In fact, many people have said that. Harry Houdini said that. David Koresh said that. And yeah, they're still dead. Jesus of Nazareth also said that. Then he actually did it. He rose again from the grave, proving his words and changing the world forever. So follow the evidence this Easter. Consider the radically changed lives. Consider the emergence of Christianity that changed the world forever. Think of the shifting of the day of worship from Saturday to Sunday overnight. It didn't take years and years and years. It was overnight after centuries of tradition. Think of how the women were the first witnesses to the resurrection in a time when women were totally downplayed and couldn't even testify in court. Consider how hardcore skeptics were changed into giants of the faith and would give their very lives for what they knew to be true. This is incredible. Jesus Christ rose from the grave. So follow the evidence, consider the truth. That's what intelligent people do. Easter this year happens to fall on April Fool's Day. So my question to you is, whose fool are you?